on your arm. And she calmly went, oh. Just, <laughs> like, that's it. And, and she forgot she had to go to the bathroom, and she left. She went back up to the car. Now, I'm standing there. I'm shaking. I'm disheveled. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit, you know, trying to not, you know, I'm dizzy and, and woozy, and I come walking out of there kind of limping, and I had, like, one part of my shirt untucked, and I was, you know, I don't know why, but I was the one that was injured, and that man was on the phone, or his radio, whatever, and he was saying, never mind, cancel that. You know, she's, she seemed to handle herself just fine. Please. And so that was kind of my introduction to Jan. It was a, a comical thing, you know what I mean? I asked her one night, and I said, what kind of music do you like? And she said, I like Dean Martin. And I said, who have you been talking to? Someone put you up, because I love Dean Martin. And I said, yeah, right. You know? And she wasn't kidding. You know? I may be 15 years younger than her, but we had a lot in common. Um, we had a lot of good taste together. Um, I'm going to miss her. She was my, my soulmate. Um, I know that she had an impact on all you guys' lives. Negative or not, she was a great woman. I look forward to seeing her on the other side. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately at the VA cemetery we're limited on time. So I'd like to have, uh, I'd like to to read a poll and then we're going to go ahead and proceed over to the niche. Um, I got to meet Jan first when I took care of her mother years ago. And I know that the one thing Jan enjoyed was outside. She originally, when I met with her, wanted to have the service of her sister's um, gazebo in the backyard. And she didn't know that this was available to her as an honorably discharged veteran. And this is a great place to lay her to rest. And we've been blessed with a beautiful day and beautiful memories. And folks, I hope you'll continue to share those memories one with another. Continue to give Eric and the family a call and let them know how much Jan meant to you. And I have a poem. I'm trying to remember it the best I can that I think she'd be, want me to say to you today. It's called I'm Free. And it goes like this. Don't grieve for me, for now I'm free. I'm following the path God laid for me. I took his hand when I heard him call. I turned my back and left it all. I could not stay another day to laugh, to love, to work, or play. Past love then done must stay that way, for I found that peace of the close of day. If my party was left a void, then fill it with remembered joy, a friendship shared, a laugh, a kiss. Ah, yes, these things I too will miss. And be not burdened with times of sorrow, for I wish you the sunshine of tomorrow. My life has been full. I savored much. Good friends, good times, a loved one's touch. Perhaps my time seemed all too brief, and in Jan's case it definitely was. But don't lengthen it now with undue grief. Lift up your heart and share with me. God wanted me now. He set me free. And folks, we're very blessed. We're blessed with the plan of salvation where the Lord has told us that we will be together again. This is just our temporary home. Be together again as a family. And I hope you truly believe that in your heart. And I hope you know that today is not goodbye. It's just farewell for now. So folks, if you'd like, um, Eric, would you like to carry her to the, to the net? Come on. <laughs> Folks, you're welcome to follow us. If there's anyone who has not had a chance, if you would please sign the register book before you leave. On the table is a little memorial heart and a blue card. I encourage you to take one of the hearts, reflect on the message on the card, and every time you need Jan here, just rub that little heart. Remember, she's forever with you in your hearts and minds. Thank you. And folks, you're welcome to follow us as we walk over to the niche.